You're listening to The Joe Cronin Show. For this unbelievably controversial interview that still is just getting hits like crazy uh, to this day, um, how did that come about? And w- w- was that one of your biggest you know, events on your, on your channel so far? Yeah, Joe, no, no doubt. Um, as a matter of fact, I just interviewed her again last week. So there's going to be a there's going to be a second part to that and a brand new interview probably uh, uh, next week on my website. And quite frankly, I felt that um, uh, Triple H, you know, kind of took a low blow when mm-hmm. it came to China, my friend. And I'll be honest, I felt that he kind of bullied her. Damn, p- p- people think they know the wrestling business and they know how it's worked how it works, and they know how it's broken down. They don't have a clue. I think a lot about it, Joe. I go on every day about this stuff. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I say that the, the easiest way I could sum this up to you is, you know, I, I turned on a wrestling show for the first time when I was about 12 years old, and the first people I saw on my television screen were the Valiant Brothers and Captain Lou Albano. I was immediately hooked on the characters and the entertainment aspect. These guys were larger than life. Yeah. If I was that same 12-year-old kid today and I tuned into the wrestling product, I, I would not be a wrestling fan. Philosophy, uh, they're kowtowing to the smart fans that are going to watch it no matter what. Th- right. th- that's the part that makes no sense to me. The internet community, all those people <laughs> are going to watch it as long as wrestling is in the title. And yeah. you know they'll bitch about it on Tuesday morning and they'll complain and they'll be back there the next week. And if, if I wasn't doing this, I don't know if I could stand to watch it, but I, I can deal with it now because I can come on here and cry about it and then go back to watching it again. Yeah, I, listen, I say this all the time, Joe. If I wasn't doing, you know, the brand, I, I wouldn't watch wrestling. I, I mean, people tell me, you know, oh, Vince, why don't you just shut it off? Well, Vince doesn't just shut it off because I get paid to watch it. Right. That's why Vince doesn't shut it off. If Vince <laughs> wasn't getting paid to watch it, Trust me, there are so many other things on Monday night that are better. This Monday night, after Raw and after the Joe Cronin Review, stick around as Joe Cronin interviews Vince Russo for 40 minutes on the wrestling business today. Don't miss this 40-minute interview with Joe Cronin and Vince Russo, the former head writer of WWE and WCW, as well as TNA. And now the founder of VinceRussoBrand.com. It's 40 minutes of Vince Russo on The Joe Cronin Show. You're listening to The Joe Cronin Show.